Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we're celebrating the best sunscreens of 2021. I know that the sunscreen industry has been on a bit of a roller coaster ride in the past 18 months. We've had issues with the verification of the SPFs that brands have been advertising. We've also seen some studies done into potentially toxic and carcinogenic ingredients, working their way into some best selling sunscreens. This has resulted in consumer confidence in the industry, probably been an all time low. And honestly, I want to flip this narrative on its head because there is no more important step in your skin care routine and the broad spectrum SPF. I'm going to celebrate in today's video the tried, tested, independently verified sunscreens that are free from all of the nasties and the potential carcinogens that have been called out and will get, deliver you a broad spectrum guaranteed level of SPF. They're also beautifully affordable and there's one here for every single skin type. So sit back, relax and let's celebrate the best sunscreens of 2021. Now, before we get into things, I do just want to say, make sure whichever product you choose in terms of an SPF, that you match it to your individual skin type and needs. The best sunscreens are the ones that we look forward to applying, because that means that we're going to use the right amount. We're also going to reapply regularly enough. It's really, really important that you match it to the finish that you want, the level of hydration that you need. And truthfully, there is a sunscreen out there for everyone. You've just got to do a little bit of digging to find the right one. Fortunately, in this video, I've got you covered and I've left timestamps in the description box below. So if you want to jump to the second of the video that's applicable for your individual skin type, be my guest. I'd love for you guys to leave me a comment to let me know what your current holy grail sunscreen is because I love to read your recommendations and they really do shape the products that I try in the future. If you have the time, I'd love it if you could give this video a big thumbs up and a like also because you know what, whilst I don't measure my own worth and value in terms of the number of likes that I get, YouTube still does and the more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it and push it out to audiences. I really want to get this message out there that whilst we have been let down in the past when it comes to sunscreens. There are some good guys out there and this video will document some of the very best. So by giving this video a thumbs up and a like, it'll just help this message reach the widest possible audience. From the bottom of my heart, I want to say a big thank you and I love you all so much. Now, without further ado, shall we cut the waffle and just delve straight on in? And in these awards videos, I always like to start with the drugstore first because you know what? My philosophy is that good skincare should never be a luxury and there's some really great affordable options for us. The very best drugstore sunscreen has to go to this brand, Alterist Sunscreens. So good. I know you're all probably bored of me fangirling about this brand, but I discovered them around 12 months ago and I've been hooked ever since. Not only do they have a fantastic affordable price point, with like the average one of their sunscreens being like five or six pounds here in the UK. They also do some great charity work supporting people over in Africa to get the sun protection that they need, which I think is a really, really good cause. And I love, love, love to see a brand with values behind it. Also, their formulations are stunning and they've released all their testing. So you know when you're reaching for an ultra sunscreen that are not only are you getting that SPF UVB protection? You're also getting sky high UVA protection to boot. It's really important. That's what broad spectrum means. It protects against both wavelengths of light, and Ultras just have that covered. For the price point, the formulations and the finishes are stunning. In this video, I'm going to be attempting to do a few more swatches. You guys always call me out and say I don't swatch enough. So here goes. I'm going to have a go, but I'm not the best. So you know what? Bear with me with this. This is my favorite of the Ultras line, which is their face fluid. I find that this is the one that goes on and will be most applicable to all. All skin types. So you work this into the skin. It leaves zero white cast, which I love. It's on fragrance, so it's suitable for people that might have some skin sensitivity, and it blends beautifully and seamlessly into the skin. You only have to work it in for like 10 seconds and it disappears like that. You can layer foundation, concealer on top of it without it bunching and balling up, and you get zero pilling. Honestly, it's just a dream product. And for the five pounds price point, look at how gorgeous that looks on the skin. It's not deadpan matte, which can dry you out and make you look a bit crusty, but it's also not really dewy, which can kind of give a greasy vibe. This is just, I think could be everyone's holy grail and best friend and definitely, definitely one that I'd recommend. Now, shall we move on to dry skin? So. I know when you reach for a sunscreen, it can be really, really difficult to match it to your individual skin type. There just always seems to be something wrong with it. However, hopefully in this section of the video, we'll go by each skin type, helping you to find your perfect pairing. In terms of dry skin, I am so pleased that in the last 12 months, we've seen a lot of new additions to the sunscreen market formulated with shea butter. Shea butter is a beautiful, beautiful hydrator, probably one of the very, very best when it comes to dry skin. It'll nourish and hydrate you all day long, as well as provide that locked in SPF protection. Two of my absolute favorite shea butter based sunscreens are going to be fantastic for dry skin are these. First and foremost is the Skinny's Sun Gel. Love this. This is an SPF 30 and was recently tested by um, the New Zealand Consumer Council and verified to be delivering the SPF that the brand advertised. 
I love that because this goes on the skin literally like butter. It's in the name with the shea butter, but honestly, until you see how this applies, you won't believe me. It goes on and oh, it just melts. It's it's honestly just like a face mask for the skin. Even though I have super oily skin, I still like to use this on the beach because I do notice that the sun exposure does dry my skin out a little bit. And this just keeps me hydrated. If you have super dry skin, this could be your day in, day out holy grail sunscreen. You see how that finishes on the skin. Not only is it really hydrating, but it's also not super greasy or tacky looking. You can absolutely use makeup over the top of it without it breaking the product down. And it just disappears like that, but leaves behind such a beautiful, veil of hydration. Absolutely gorgeous and one of my favourite, favourite shea butter based formulations. This year we also saw the Sun Fragma by Face Theory which again formulated with shea butter. This one is really, really nice. However, I am going to say there's a difference between these two. The skin is, is a purely chemical sunscreen which means there is zero white cast ashiness on the skin meaning it's truly applicable to all skin tones. In terms of the Sun Fragma by Face Theory, this is a hybrid sunscreen which means you could potentially get some level of ashiness and white cast. I didn't notice that on my skin tone, but I want to call that out because if you've got a deeper, darker and richer skin tone, that one might not be for you. And I would definitely recommend the Skin Is, which is now internationally available. And I absolutely love it. Whichever you go for, these will be your best friends when it comes to tackling dry skin whilst giving you that locked in SPF protection. Now, shall we hop to the opposite ends of the skin spectrum? And this is actually my skin type, the oily and the acne prone. Now, I think when it comes to applying sunscreen, if you have oily, acne prone skin, this is the stage of your routine you absolutely dread because I look back to like the old sunscreens which were thick gloopy left that really greasy feel on the skin and it was just like you did it because you needed the protection but there was no pleasure in it at all thankfully those days are over and we now have some options in terms of sunscreens which are formulated specifically for oily acne prone skin my absolute favorite at the moment and the one that I want to award this category to is this this is the nip and fab purify anti-pollution shield this is actually nicely hydrated so a lot of people that have dry acne prone skin or oily acne prone skin that has some areas of dryness on it can really struggle to find their perfect pairing but this I find is really really nice option because it leaves behind a nice level of hydration but it's not greasy it won't clog your pores and it won't leave you feeling like you're wearing a mask I absolutely love this product and in terms of how it applies Again, let me just show you on the skin. So it goes on and within about 10 seconds, it's disappeared without a trace. It leaves behind a really minimal level of hydration, but still definitely there and zero white cast, no ashiness and no real thick mask like feel on the skin. In terms of how it applies, it's not deadpan matte. Anyone that really dislikes like acne appropriate sunscreens, because often they go to the extreme of having it so matte it makes you look crusty. You don't get that with this. It's got a beautiful finish, but I find I actually stay matte all day long because of some of the additional beneficial skincare in here. It's just a really, really nice, my true holy grail at the moment. In terms of how it smells, it's got a very light fragrance. So if you are sensitive to fragrance, bear that in mind. But I actually quite like that because you know what? It's very light, it's very subtle, but it does kind of give you that uplifting vibes, which I absolutely adore. Another mention I want to give in this category is this. This is the Biore UV Watery Essence. I adore, adore, adore this product because it disappears like that. The reason it works in that way is because it's got quite a lot of drying alcohol in here. Now, I know a lot of you are gasping and saying, oh gosh, drying alcohol, it's like the number one enemy of the skin. It is if you have combination or dry skin but if like me you have super oily skin actually it can add a mattifying element to it which can be a benefit also it means that the product sinks in really quickly and disappears without a trace if you're one of these people that hates the idea of a film being left behind by your sunscreen this is the one for you because you won't even know that you're wearing it again it's been through testing out of Hong Kong which showed it was delivering the guaranteed SPF value that it was saying it did which I love and in terms of how it applies to the skin it goes on in much more like a gel like formulation than some of the other creams that I've shown and it just disappears like that literally gone behind it there is zero trace I mean there is a slight slight alcoholy scent to it which might not be to everyone's preference but it disappears really quickly so I don't worry about that in terms of how that looks on the skin you barely know you're wearing it you get that locked in guaranteed protection it'll help keep you matte all day long won't clog the pores break you out it's like an acne sufferer's best friend and between this and the nip and fab these are the ones I've been using most frequently in the last couple of months and really really enjoying now before I leave you I want to call out three products 
products that have added skincare benefits. So they're not just fantastic broad spectrum protective SPFs, but they also have some beneficial ingredients alongside them that are just going to complement or simplify your skincare routine. First and foremost, I want to call out this. This is the Face Theory Amyl C Whip SPF 30. Beautiful because you've got your vitamin C, your moisturizer and your SPF all in one. So for those days that you literally just want to throw a product on and dash out of the door, this could be that product. I absolutely love it. And you know what? Props to Face Theory for actually reformulating this with a higher level of SPF. Previously, it was a 20, which I don't think gives you enough coverage. Now we're at that SPF 30. This truly is a stunning, stunning product. And I just really, really enjoy it for those days where I want a little bit of a quick turnaround in my skincare routine. I also want to call out this. This is a safe recipe by Pestolo. This is a panthenol and ceramide infused sunscreen. So again, if you want that additional hydration and moisture from your product beyond just the SPF protection, this is a really, really nice product to reach for. You don't get a whole lot in here, so the price point is a little bit more expensive, like mill for mill than some of the others I've recommended. But again, you get that panthenol to calm and soothe the skin, those ceramides to hydrate and boost the skin barrier. It's just a really, really nice product. And finally, I want to end on this, which is one of my ride or die favorites, which is the Make Prem UV Defense Me Fluid. This is a beautiful hybrid sunscreen. You'll notice a lot of the ones I'm recommending are hybrid. If you want to know the composition in terms of UV filters of the ones, I've left them against their names in the description box below. It just keeps it a little bit simpler rather than me having to remember everything for the video. This is a hybrid sunscreen that I absolutely love because not only does it have that great broad spectrum verified sun protection, but in here you also get ceramides, you get panthenol, you get allantonin that are going to calm, soothe and hydrate. Again, I think this is applicable for just about all skin types, but I will call it out because it has an element of mineral UV filters in it. It won't work that well for people with deeper, darker and richer skin tones because I do think you'll get some ashiness and white cast. On my skin tone, works beautifully. Disappears without a trace, but leaves behind it a really nice, calm, soothed skin that's in equilibrium and hydrated to the gods. A beautiful, beautiful product. And as you can see, it's got a really nice finish that's not too dewy, not too matte. It's just really, really nice product to use. So there you have it, guys. A rundown of the best sunscreens of 2021. I think it's time we flip that narrative on its head and actually start celebrating the amazing sunscreens that are on the market rather than just having to call out the fail after fail after fail that we've seen in the last couple of years. All of these products are going to deliver you fantastic broad spectrum SPF protection at the same time as some of them have additional benefits. Whatever your skin type, there really is one out there for you. I've tried to keep it as drugstore and affordable as possible because I never think sun protection should be a luxury. It should be something we can all afford and hopefully these price points have demonstrated that. I would still love to know your own personal recommendations and favourites to so sound off in the comments section below. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well and love your skin. Take care. Bye.